Hey guys, welcome to FM Driver School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor. So if you've got a test coming up and you're not really prepared for it, maybe you haven't been taking enough driving lessons, maybe you haven't had the chance to take enough driving lessons. So what we're going to show you in this video is a few clips on what you should be doing in your driving test, how you should be thinking as an experienced driving student and how you should be driving in your driving test. Watch it to the end because we're going to give you some real life driving examples and we're going to show you how you should be reacting while you're driving in the driving test correctly. Before we start, please guys don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It's only a button but makes a big difference to our channel. Out of all the examples I could have used, we're going to gain the most from looking at this road here. I could have done big big roundabouts, major crossroads, major junctions, but instead I'm going to use this 20 miles an hour road. So if you look here, it's wet, it's heavily raining, we got a bus in front of us, it's 20 miles an hour zone. Okay, as a student, first of all, we have to consider, or as a driving examiner, we're going to be considering or looking at you. Are you maintaining the speed? Are you keeping it safe? Are you having a nice gap between yourself and the bus? And are you prepared for things to happen? So we just went past, the traffic light was green. We're looking ahead, we should be thinking about the bus stop. And there's going to be quite a few examples or important situations happening in this road. So as we're driving, looking far ahead, we can see speed signs, we can see flashing beacons, we can see it's going to be 30 miles an hour zone, the bus is braking, we should be considering people crossing on the zebra crossing, scanning thoroughly on the zebra crossing, the bus is stopping, we should be checking our right mirror and thinking of overtaking, correct decision to overtake here and then check your left mirror to move back in. So quite a few things happening in a, a literally a few seconds there, but the good thing here, the student did overtake, it was safe to make sure you do do it if it's safe. Now carrying on, we're looking at uh, signs on the floor, it's, still, it's about 30 miles an hour now. So it's changed from 20 to 30. Remember to build up your speed, it's safe ahead. Look at this car, he may try to pull out and he hasn't. So again, we're being safe. Now, as we get to the set of traffic lights up ahead, you're going to see quite a few different things happening. So first of all, there's a traffic lights, we should be thinking it may change, so reduce your speed slightly if you're fairly fast, be prepared to stop. And look, the lights did change and we should come to a nice smooth stop because we were well prepared. As we stop, we can show you this thing here, there's a give way sign, positive pedestrians here, there's a give way sign. So even if we get through the traffic lights, this is why I wanted to show you this road. In whichever road you go to, whichever test centre you go to and practice it, maybe you don't know it thoroughly, watch out for the road markings on the floor or signs on the roads. So there's a give way sign on the floor. That means when you go past this red traffic light, it doesn't mean uh, you can fully go. There might be somebody coming on the right like this bus for example, so you should double check the right. It's a give way sign, it's a separate sign. That's why this uh, particular example is really important. You might do your driving test in an area where you don't know thoroughly the area or maybe you haven't taken enough driving lessons. So my point to you as students is look far ahead, plan it. There's a giveaway sign. Make sure you look over your right shoulder then you can get through. So make sure you can see these signs on the floor and then make the decision straight away. If you didn't look over your right shoulder, that could potentially be a major fault and you'd fail your test. So now that we've learned something from that example, let's apply it in this road here. Similar situation, we've got a cyclist we're thinking of overtaking, wet condition, 20 miles an hour road, looking far ahead. Let's see what we can see. I'm doing it together with you, it's my first time seeing it here. So as I'm driving, as a teacher, this is what I'll be looking at my students to look out for. As an examiner, looking far ahead, there's a bus thinking about meeting situation, is the student going to slow down slightly, does he need to slow down, does she need to slow down? We can see pedestrians in a bright yellow jacket on the left, park cars, again the road is being restricted, cars on the right pulling out, are they going to affect us? Flashing beacon, quite important, zebra crossing, pedestrians slowing down slightly, perfect. Now that example, these pedestrians are wearing dark jackets, that example, we're seeing so many things in a split second, we have to make decisions, we have to be safe, Sl uh, slowly stopping the car, being smooth with the car, as you can see, extremely difficult driving in a straight road, you might think driving is that easy, it's not, so many factors, so many things we're looking out for. And the fact that we showed you in the first example how it worked out, we applied in this second road, similar situation, here's a cyclist catching up with us, so that's why it's so important to learn how to drive, not just on big roundabouts, not just on crossroads, just general driving like this, you can see how you can easily fail. 
Do you catch our other videos where we go through how to drive, how to press the driving examiners, and how your driving instructor should be teaching you in your driving lessons? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's a few examples. We've got loads more videos and loads more examples. And good luck in your driving test.